A local merchant sells an average of 1.3 gold watches in a day. Find the probability that the merchant will sell at least one gold watch on any given day. And here we're given an average number of successes in some time frame. And that's, that's the day, some time frame. And when we're given that, and we're not given anything about a uh, probability of success or, or something like that, then this is a Poisson distribution. And Excel can handle that. It has an Excel um, a, a function for the Poisson distribution. But first we have to understand what's being asked here. So let's look at the question. At least, at least one gold watch. So we're asking for the probability that x is greater than or equal to 1. However, here's the catch. In Excel, when we use the Poisson function, and this is going to be cumulative because we're not asking for exactly like we will down in the second example. We're doing the cumulative. Excel always adds up, I'll say, from the left. So we could say that's the probability of zero successes plus the probability of one success. And it adds all those up to the probability of X successes. And that's not what we're doing in the yellow here. We have the probability that X is greater than or equal to. Whereas in Excel, we're looking at the probability that X is less than or equal to some number. So to put what we have in yellow here, to put our question into Excel language, we're going to just use the idea of a complement. So the, the probability that x is greater than or equal to 1 is equal to 1 minus the complement of that. And the complement of x being greater than or equal to 1 is x being less than 1. Well, less than 1 is x is less than or equal to 0. So this is what we're going to type into Excel. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put right up here, I'm going to put the uh, probability that x is uh, less than or equal to, forgive this notation, but less than or equal to 0. And I'm going to I'm going to put that right there. So I'm going to use the Poisson distribution. I could just type in equals Poisson. I'll show you the insert function just so we can do that. So you can see that at least once. Uh, statistical, we insert function into statistical. This is in an older version of Excel from Office XP. So if you have an older version, this feature will be there. And of course, if you have a newer version of Excel, this function will be there, but it just might be in a slightly different spot. Or, but it, it should be spelled the same way. If it's not, it you know, it'll be very close. So you can find this Poisson. Under the category of statistical functions, we'll go down to Poisson. Let's go down to the P. And there it is. Now, what do we want? We want X, X of zero. Mean, the mean is given to us, 1.3. Cumulative, we're going to say yes. And I know that if if you're if you've probably caught on to this that the probability of exactly zero successes and um, and cumulative of zero is is the same, but the reason I'm I'm going to say true here is just for the example for teaching purposes of uh, anytime you see of at least or no more than anytime you're doing anything like that with some inequality, go ahead and use true for the cumulative. It just kind of it's a standard that uh, makes it easier on you, but. Here we go. We've got this in here. and We've got the probability that x is less than or equal to 0. And I'm just going to do then uh, the probability. I'll type in the probability that x is greater than or equal to 1. And that equals, I'm just going to use Excel here, equals 1 minus, and I'm going to choose this cell. And of course, I could just do this on a calculator, but I've, I've got Excel open, so I'm, I'm going to just, just do this here. Equals 1 minus this value, which is what I have in yellow. 1 minus the probability of x is less than or equal to 0. And then, I'll, then I will say enter, and I've got the number. So in yellow, our answer, 
to this question is 0.727, rounding correctly. Okay, that was that was the one that, that took a little bit more work because when we, when we have the um, the cumulative, you have to think about it a little bit more. Now, let's take it home with an easy one. When you, when you have exactly, let's just go for it. That is the probability that x equals one. We already said it's going to be uh, Poisson, so let's just use that Poisson distribution. I'll put it down by this examples equals Poisson. And then open up the parentheses, x, we have one success with the, um, the average number of successes in this time frame is 1.3. He sells on average 1.3 gold watches a day. Cumulative, cumulative here, I'm going to say false. False, because we are not adding things up. We're just saying it's exactly. All right, we've got that in there. And we get the probability. So that equals, I'll put this in here, 0.354. Okay, there you go. Uh, a little example of using the prob uh, Poisson probability distribution with Excel.